Uh, first of all, though, let's uh, head over for, to cover uh, the Argentina game uh, as they made it past a spirited Australian squad with a 2-1 win. Uh, thanks to goals from Lionel Messi and Julian Alvarez. Uh, as always, though, let's head straight to Doha, where our team are following all the games for us. Uh, Selena, uh, Julian Alvarez then on the score sheet, but Messi couldn't be much happier after that one. Well, that's right, James. It's once again Messi, who is the man of the hour for Argentina, getting a goal on his thousandth appearance in his career. It uh, had been a rather uneventful uh, first uh, half, uh, but when you have someone like Messi in your side, well, it always just takes a moment of magic, magic sorry, for the game uh, to be turned around. And that's exactly what he did. A player of his quality will always manage to do so in the 30. Fifth minute, he uh, got the goal with a low, a good low shot to put Argentina ahead, sparking a wild celebrations from fans. And in true uh, Messi trademark fashion, it was him who started and ended the move, uh, recycling uh, the ball from a free kick before playing a wonderful one-two with uh, Otta Mendy for his ninth goal at a World Cup, though remarkably his first in a knockout round. And that sees him overtake a legend, uh, Maradona, uh, and he's now one off the all time uh, Argentina record for goals at a World Cup uh, and he's put uh, obviously his team on track uh, for that one trophy that he's still so desperate to win in perhaps his last World Cup, his fifth and final World Cup. Uh, Ruben, Argentina we saw today slowly growing into the World Cup I think when we see the performance they put on um, but 14 shots, 5 on target. You got to worry though when there are those massive misses that we saw especially towards the end of the game that when there are going to be less opportunities how are they actually going to make it through? Yeah, they should be more clinical that's for sure. We saw, uh, we saw in the last 10 minutes and there was even a, an enormous opportunity for, for Australia in the last second to equal, equalise. Uh, it's, it's getting a bit better but I think the question marks are still there. We can all see that there's a lot of quality in this Argentinian side. Messi is always, is always there but are they good enough to go until the end? Is there won't there be a, a game where they where they're less uh, where their um, lack of of, um, of of goal scoring will will cost them? It it could be, and I think that they after this game they won't be much more confident to be honest. Because we, we've talked about Messi, but Lautaro Martinez on the other hand not finding his way at all. No, and it's also with Inter this season, it's, it's, it's really disappointing what he's been showing. So that's also why Alvarez is playing and he scored today. So that's, that's fine for them. But it's, it's clear that that's uh, a point of worrying for, for, their, for their manager, for Scaloni. Yeah, and the other Martinez then, the one between the sticks, saving them, as you say, from what could have easily been an equaliser. Yeah, Martinez had a strange game because uh, the goalkeeper, then Emiliano Martinez, because yeah, he, he, he made some strange mistakes. He wasn't always that sure, but when he had to be there, he was there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's good for them. Yeah, and on the other side of the pitch, there was some clumsy footwork then for that goal that led to the second one uh, for the uh, Argentinian side. Uh, Matthew Ryan then uh, afterwards, though, making a massive save uh, to avoid uh, uh, something further. Overall, what did you, you think of the Socceroos uh, tonight as they, before they head home? Well, they can be really proud of what they did in this tournament. I think that almost nobody, maybe a few people in Australia, thought that they would get out of their group already with France, with Denmark. So that's already really good. They can have some regrets, though. Their best player in this tournament, Matt Ryan, making this huge uh, error, uh, which cost them because it was the 2-0. It wasn't a pretty sight to see. Afterwards, OK, he, 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 can, he saved them a few times, but I think that every goalkeeper, when you make such a howler, you don't sleep that well. Yeah, no, it's a hard one to, to then redeem yourself uh, from that. But I think as a team as the, they, themselves, they surpass clearly. They're and one, you can see the enthusiasm. They're one of the surprises here. of this tournament because uh, getting them in the second round was already was already a surprise. And also today they were really, they they gave everything they, they had in, yeah. uh, in their... Uh, they'll, they'll be, I'm sure they'll get a good uh, welcome anyway when they uh, do head home uh, after that. 